The Philippines Poverty Environment Initiative is advocating for local governments to shift to renewable energy since the Philippines has great potential for solar, wind, geothermal, and micro hydro. Making shift towards this green industry presents remarkable opportunities for investments, growth, and a healthy and sustainable future for the country. Ilocos Norte, the northernmost province of the western side of Luzon Island, is one of the local administration determined to shift to a greener development path. Uh, renewable energy is uh, one of the primary uh, investments that we have actually attracted to, to the province. The province is promoting renewable energy and currently hosting the first commercial capacity on Red Wind Farm in Southeast Asia. This opens a new renewable energy era for the Philippines since it represents the first greenhouse gas emission reduction purchase agreement under the clean development mechanism of the Kyoto Protocol. The project is funded almost entirely by Danida. This will contribute to reduce the dependence of the Philippines on imported oil and coal. The project is already providing electricity to Ilocos Norte municipalities in Lawag City. There are actually times that the, the wind farm can supply the whole province of Ilocos Norte. The wind farm is providing a cheaper source of power, employment and job opportunities for local residents, generating tourism and providing tax revenues to Ilocos Norte. Talagang gusto namin, marami pa mga turista madating dito. Noon, walang, walang makatitignan sa tabi ng dagat. Ngayon, marami na. Marami magagandang dalaga at saka magagandang lalaki. Hindi katulad ko pangin. Besides wind power, microhydro is equally being supported as an effective way of generating clean energy. The total head of this is uh, almost 200 meters. After going down, uh, the water uh, goes to the different uh, turbine. Now the water enters at this point. So when the turbine rotates, the generator rotates. Then it creates electricity. Also, the province together with the Korean investor is developing a 20 megawatt photovoltaic power plant in Barangay Paguludan in Kurimao. I am certain that our goal of reaching at least half of our energy requirements generated through clean and renewable energy um, sources will be established immediately. Besides, the province's efforts to lower its carbon footprint include promoting ecotourism, sustainable farming methods, and green infrastructure. We've also ventured into uh, something we call new agriculture. Uh, we want to promote high-value cash crops. Just recently, we've been uh, telling farmers in Ilocos Norte, advising them to actually transfer into more sustainable and more profitable cash crops. So we're trying to, 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 to make the Ilocano farmer more reliant on himself. Niyayaya ko lahat ng mga katulad itong barangay captain na i-impose nyo itong programa na to dahil maganda para sa mga mahirap, maganda sa kita at lalong mas maganda sa buhay. Salamat. We're trying to venture into new things. One example would be the Tabacalera uh, complex uh, just behind the provincial capital. It's actually green architecture, green in the sense that 99.9% uh, .9 of the materials that were actually used are actually recycled. They're old wood and old bricks from everywhere in Ilocos Norte. On top of that, the province is reforesting vast areas of degraded land and watersheds as part of the national greening program to plant billions of trees all over Philippines. Each ecosystem has a carrying capacity. You don't just invite people to go there and let them, you know, pester the animals and destroy the trees or do vandalism or do whatever. You have to protect the environment so that in the long run, people will have uh, income and livelihood coming from these uh, tourism areas. And in the long run, our model for tourism is actually Bhutan, wherein you don't have uh, a lot of people going there, but the people preserve their culture, their environment, and they get high-end customers.